Hello there, I'm Eric. Welcome to The Shed. In this quick little video, we're going to look at a hidden gem of Adobe Express, the QR code maker. We're going to jazz it up a little bit too, of course. Now, this is born from a real world situation. I like to use Google Forms to gather feedback at the end of a class or a seminar. But in Google Forms, no QR code, so people can't use their smartphones to go over to the form. So I use Adobe Express to create a little graphic where they can use their mobile phones. Easy. All right, let's jump into Google Forms and get going. So here in Google Forms, you can see I've got just a very quick demo little thing here. It's only three questions. Usually I do more than that, but for this, just the three questions and I want to share it. So I'm going to click on send. Now here I can send it by email. I could embed it if I wanted to send it on Facebook or whatever this thing is. No idea. Let's go on to the link though. There's the link for the web. I can shorten that down and I can copy it. That's all I need from here. Let's go over to Adobe Express. And Adobe Express, there is a lovely little button up here, the plus sign, and then quick actions. And this is actually where I like to navigate from. It's so much easier than going through all the little bits and bobs if I know exactly what I want. And in this case, it's just here, generate QR code. So I'm gonna click on that. Then here in the enter or paste URL, paste that down press tab and there is our qr code now we can change the style of this we can change how the dots look we can change how the marker border looks and we can change how the marker center looks let's have this a little bit rounded and then we'll change the color maybe to a blue orange red green whatever takes our fancy in this case we'll stick with black and then we can change the file format. So at the moment it's a PNG, which is very nice because that will give us a transparent background, but we could also choose uh, JPEG or SVG. In my case, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna come onto the QR code, right click and copy the image. Easy as that. Right, back into the Adobe Express proper. And then I'm gonna make it a square so I can actually go into Instagram square post just here and click on that, that got a square. There's Control or Command V, and then paste down the QR code. How easy is this? I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger. There we go. And then I'm gonna go back to the form. I'm gonna copy that URL one more time, just so as I can paste that underneath. There we are. And as far as we're concerned, that could be done. I could share that on a larger screen, maybe just so people can use their mobile phone to give me feedback via the forms. Let's jazz this up a little bit. I want a background. So I'm gonna go over to media. I'm gonna stick on photos. Of course, I could use text to image, use the generative AI, all that kind of stuff. Nah, I don't need to. Let's keep it simple. I'm gonna put classroom. And there's a classroom background there. Nice, let's use that. And uh, maybe something, oh, that one's all right. There we go. And then resize that just like that. Put it just somewhere around there. Drag it down so it's underneath my QR code and the text. And there we have it. Let's change the text to a white, just so we can see that a bit better. But this QR code now looks very blocky and nasty. That's easy solved. If I click on it, you'll see here, I've got blend. These are blend modes. We've got normal, we've got multiply, and we've got screen. If I click multiply, then all the lighter colors drop out and we keep the darker ones. The opposite of that is screen, where we keep all the lighter colors and the darker ones drop out. For this, multiply might seem the best option, but what if we want to change the color now we're here? Not a problem. We can go to the effects. I click on that. You can see we can change things here as much as we like. What we actually want to do is the duo tone. So here I'm going to change these to black and white, but I'm going to change them over. So we'll have black here and then white here. 
that will do nicely we're keeping the blacks as the foreground there we go and we're in multiply now what if i wanted to have it the other way around not a problem let's put these the other way around i can literally just click on that and then click there and now we've got a white qr code on the chalkboard there and that my friends is the only reason i've ever come into effects here there you go all right i'm going to just move this over a little bit just so it's not over the pencils and we can make the text a little bit bigger we can use one of these if we wanted to it's suggesting some of those some of them look nice others not so much that's good there you go let's make that a bit bigger just so it can be read by the back of the class there we go really can't be let's try something different that's better okay good and there we are and then all i have to do then is just send this off save it or even just pop this up on the screen and everybody will be able to see it and give feedback at the time we've recorded this form is still live if you'd like to give me feedback go ahead it's there it's live i appreciate all feedback whether through that form or through the comments below thank you very much for joining me as they say like and subscribe never know might help the channel out a little bit and i'll see you next time take care bye bye for now